Many people struggle with the authenticity and the truth behind the words of the rabbis. The fact that God gave us the Torah on Mount Sinai, that they can accept. The fact that Moshe and Moses handed over the Torah to us, that they can accept too. But it's the authority and the truth behind the words of the rabbis that many people struggle with. It actually features this week in the Torah portion, where God says clearly that you should approach the priests, the Kohanim and the judges of your times and follow their instructions and follow their interpretations and do not divert from their words to the left or to the right. But why is it that God handed over the authority and the interpretation to the rabbis? Why didn't he document everything clearly and explicitly so that we wouldn't need to come to the words of the rabbis? The answer is that God wanted the Torah, as spiritual and godly as it is, to permeate this physical and mundane world, transforming it into a more spiritual and godly space. He wanted our physical human minds to process and comprehend Torah and godly wisdom so that Torah would affect our own personal mundane lifestyles. And the first step he took in doing that was to hand over the Torah to the rabbis, to the humankind, to the materialistic mundane thought process and allow for them to interpret and to adapt the Torah to be specifically fit for their generations. So by handing over the Torah to the rabbis and to their interpretation, God is actually teaching us that Torah is not just spiritual and godly, it's actually applicable and practical for our mundane lifestyles, where we are able to change our lifestyles to be more meaningful, to be more purposeful, to be more spiritual and godly too. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.